Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the new I Silver Master icons that came out. As we did get three more, uh, see what their value is and how interesting they are to upgrade because, again, the cost is significant. So you want to make sure that if you're going to go down that well, that you at least get a card that's worth the amount of coins and investment that's going to cost. So let's get into today's new Silver Master icons. We will start first with the 90 Johnny Busick, six foot with two to distributor and two to workhorse. This is a very, very good synergy combo, guys. However, I will say this. There is a lot of cards that have distributor, so it's not really the one that I'm looking for that's most important to get two to it because, again, there's just so many out there that already have distributor, and, you know, you can use your goaltenders, the coach, all that, but it is still very valuable. Two to workhorse, however, I do think is very important because, um, it's kind of one that you want to you want to activate after Speedster, after Howitzer, and if you have a card that has two to it always, you don't need to necessarily need to have three more. You know what I'm saying? So uh, while his speed is only 89, acceleration can get into the 90s with it. His shot is okay; it's right around 90. And defensively, again, just kind of meh: 89 stick checking, 93 defensive awareness, and 88 body checking. The synergies are the only thing making this card propping it up to be, you know, worth the cost that it is right now. So it's going to cost you eight icon collectibles plus the card, the 85 card. That's 400k. Would you spend 400k on this card or Marcel Nobles, something like that? You just got to weigh that factor. Is the distribution Distributor and workhorse worth that cost? In my opinion, again, I don't think it's I don't think that he is bad overall because his stats are okay. I just think that he's okay. So you're investing about 400 k on a great synergy combo, but like an okay card. Next up, we got the 90 overall Ed Belfort with two to balance and two to heart and soul. So literally the worst synergy combo that you can have. However, I will say this, for anyone that's hut rich that's trying to activate, you know, their fourth team synergy or something, I mean it doesn't hurt. Because there is a lot of cards that have two to balance and two to heart and soul or something like that. So, but I mean, still, there's there's no way under six foot goaltenders. I still would recommend to avoid just because they don't uh, they they still while they don't suffer. Well, well, sorry. Well, they have better stats because they don't get capped anywhere um, like the taller goaltenders will. They still suffer from that like you know actual just getting out and blocking shots that you wouldn't normally stop because you're bigger. Um, and the 86 aggression just makes this card just a just an avoid for me. I'm not a huge fan of it. So um, even if you had the 85 overall at Bedf Belfour, definitely avoid this one. Do not make him, please, guys. And then lastly, we've got the 90 overall Al McKinnis, six foot two with two to spark and two to magician. Now this is tough because his base speed is 85, meaning you can get to 88 with distributor, but that means that. You're not touching 90 on acceleration and speed. Now, I will say this. Um, again, there is a place for big defensemen that, are, that aren't that are ex exceptionally fast. Um, you know, you see it with the Philip Myers, for example, um, because you just have to know how to play them. You can't be trying to meet them along the boards. You have to be playing very, very well positionally. Now, if you're someone who gives up a lot of two-on-ones or gets burnt down the wing off the rush, this is not the card that you want to look for. But if you're someone that's okay, that defensively plays pretty passive, this isn't a bad option. He has 98 slap shot power, which is phenomenal. The problem is that his accuracy is still so low for a 90 overall card. Body checking's max. Defensively, he's fantastic. It's just, again, 400k on a card that has liabilities. Not a huge fan, guys. So, um, as well as Al McInnes, I would probably pass this. We're running out of the 85 overalls that, that you know, you can upgrade. There's only a few, in my opinion, that are worth it. All right, guys, moving on to today's prime times. We got the 90 overall Anze Kopitar, six foot three. He's been a phenomenal card all the way through. Even his base card is one of the ones that you need to go out and get immediately um, when you first start. So he's got one to workhorse, one to thief. Now, thief on this card makes his faceoff rating almost perfect up to 96. So again, thief is a synergy that you need to look for among your centermen, um, but it's not something I would look to act, look to have on a card that isn't at center position. So workhorse does save this card, in my opinion, because he is slower However, I will say this, like I said, centermen don't necessarily need to be all that fast. Now, with distributor, gets up to 88, which is fine, in, all my, in my opinion. He is going to be phenomenal in his own zone. Defensively, you're going to have a great card here. My only issue is that, like, the 88 is better, in my opinion. With how it's activated, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not that much of a difference and a better synergy combo. Like, 87-89 with 94 shooting power or 85 speed, you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't... There isn't really any worth to it. So the one thing I will say is that Thief will make him, you know, you can almost have this card for the rest of the game at center because no matter what, he has Thief and you could get max, uh, 
you know, max uh, faceoff basically, and that that's always going to be valuable. He's under 200k right now. He needs to fall to like 150. Like I'd be curious to see what this Anze Kopitar is going for, as right now, see like. There's no reason why I would spend 200k on the other one with Thief when you can have the one with Howitzer for 80, which is again one of the best buys in my opinion in terms of cost. So um, I still would probably avoid it, but once he falls in price, it's something to look at. And we've got the 90 overall Mark Shifley, who is always criminally underrated. He is always cheaper than his stats indicate. Now, right off the hop, he's a winger, 76 faceoff rating as a center. I don't understand. The face-off ratings in this game. Anyways, so like the Lamp and Gladiator, two synergies you're not going to look to activate. 88 speed and acceleration, though, is fine. Is is, is absolutely fine. Um, obviously, with Distributor and Spark, it's even better. And then wrist shot, or sorry, slap shot and wrist shot all above 90. And then his body checking 86 with a 6'3 frame. Here's the thing. Same thing as, um, you know, as the Kopitar is that his 86 with Howitzer is almost better. And the cost difference is going to be, you know, significant. So... Again, keep that in mind, guys. Like, right now, this Shy Fleet, I would bet, is probably over 150, maybe. Yeah. Well, there's no way I'm... There's no way I'm paying that price. Because when you go and look at the Mark Shy Fleet prime time, is that if there's any up... Yeah, like, thir like, guys... This is what I mean when you're talking about when you're talking about prices. 30k for this one, who's got almost basically the same skating, or the 90 for you know 200. It's just it's not that difficult to figure out, right? Like it, these are the ones you got to avoid. So lastly, guys, just taking a look at my team. I know I get a lot of questions about Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes plays great. You know, he is exactly as advertised. Um, I'm someone who sits in the offensive zone for quite a while and sets up, so I don't score off the rush or I don't, I don't really base all of my offense off the rush. Where this is where Jack Hughes really, you know, excels. Um, so and when he is cycling the puck, he is a little bit weaker on it, but his shot is deadly. Um, so keep that in mind. He's been a fantastic card. I did add the 92 Timo Meyer, and I've really liked his card, honestly. In 15 games of Hut Champs, you know he's got 11 points. Um, sorry, he's got. Uh, yeah, 11 points, and he's a plus 8. So that's fine for me in my third line. And I like Wingman and Howitzer, so, um, you know, a very, very good card. And then on defense, I am just selling my Carl. I just sold my Carlson, so I'm going to pick up Philip Myers, who I really, really like and I totally recommend. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a good one, guys.